Today we're working on a 2014 Ford Focus. The alternator is slowly going out and I'm seeing a voltage drop. So instead of replacing it, figured we would try to fix the problem, which I'm thinking is the voltage re regulator. So we're going to remove the alternator. To do that, I've simply jacked it up, um, torqued this back, the uh, tensioner. There's a 14 mil. You cannot see it right now, but it's a little end here that you can put on with a socket, torque it forward, pop the belt right, right off. You don't need to take it completely off if you've got AC. Um, the belt will keep it on. The front belt will keep this one on. Just remember the orientation and the routing of this belt. Um, then we're going to do is we're going to take the belt off the alternator and continue by removing this nut on top of this stud right here as it focuses. If that's not possible, another YouTuber of the name of Falcon's Garage uh, ended up taking a 5 mil, I believe it was, and taking the stud completely out once the nut was out to help with uh, the removal so you don't have to shift it forward as much. The nut on top of the alternator is a 13 millimeter. I'm using a ratcheting end spanner to loosen it. And once you get that off, we can move down to the bottom. So from this angle, you can see there are two bolts. These ones are here, which we'll take out. At the same time, it's a little easier to get the alternator belt off from here. And on the back side, you are able to see, oh, right above this green dot here is the plug. Right there at the tip of my finger. I think it's going to be a little easier to remove it with the alternator shook and loose. Um, than trying to go from the top right now or even trying to go from the bottom. Um, once that is out, we'll reconvene from there. Okay, try to position you guys well so you can see everything as best as possible. So this is a 13 just like the top. Uh, the sores might be in the way, but once you've knocked these loose, this is where the safety glasses come in because a lot of rocks like to come down and tapping this. Once these are loose, then it's easy. You can just do them by hand, or if you get a jam, continue with the ratchet. So once those two bolts are out, they're about three inches long, a little over that. The whole assembly should shake, or be loose, should I say. And right now it's being held in by that top. Uh, let's see, where is it? Right there, this stud right here. So let's try to reach in there and simply pull a little bit on it. The trick here, oh, pardon me, I'll take this glove off, glove off, zoom out, sorry for the shaking guys. These two re, uh, coolant hoses, they're going to cause you a little bit of troubles. They're gonna get, get in the way and uh, you just might have to fight with that a little bit. Next up. So for the top stud, holding it in, got a five mil socket on there with an extension and it's not very hard to break even with a, a six inch little ratchet handle here and loosen away i did put a bolt in the bottom there so that this will not fall out okay so i've got the top stud out and currently these are just held, this is just held in by these threads here on the single bolt so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the camera down but i'm going to hold up the alternator as i unscrew it and slowly let it down until i can reach uh, the plug, which you may not be able to see up there. Um, but once I reach it, I'll be able to unplug it with my um, bolt unscrewing hand and the other holding the alternator, and I should be able to let it down nice and easy. So after fiddling around a bit more, uh, changing the orientation, I found that I can take the 10 mil bolt out of this bracket, and it gives me a little bit more wiggle room with the AC lines. Now, you don't want to be torquing these too much. Um, don't want to be bending or stretching lines, but... Being able to take off the bracket gives us a couple more inches of breathing room, and I might be able to slide it through this portion right here just by wiggling this boat. Um, I'll update you again in a couple minutes here. Okay, so before this falls out of my hands really quick, you can see I actually went through the uh, more passenger side. Whoop, and there she goes. So be wary of that belt, and uh, she'll drop right back in. Okay, so after dropping this out, um, there was a 10 mil there or sorry, 13 mil. And uh, I noticed that my plug is still in. Obviously, I noticed that as soon as I started unbolting everything that 
the wiring isn't uh, isn't there anymore. Not to correct myself, the wiring is still there. The plug is just not no longer attached. So I ended up redoing the plug and putting the alternator back in. If you guys like this video, give it a like. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. Bye now.